how does this become this? This is EnviroRog. It's strong, it's light, and it's made from recycled glass bottles. A lot of people are skeptical of recycling programs, and often with good reason. But let me show you how this could mean true zero waste. And it all starts when you drop this off at a recycling depot. The first stop for that bottle is this facility in Abbotsford. Is it just loud all day? All day. As you can hear, thousands of bottles shuffle down these conveyor belts every day. It's just glass hitting glass. This facility sorts glass based on what's going to happen to it next. What's behind me is the best of the best. It's furnace ready. It's going to be turned into bottles and other new products. The rest of it is what gets turned into other things like Enviro Rock. At the total end of the line, and this will be, uh, this is what it looks like when it's all finished. Inside, the bottles you drop off at the return depot are processed, separated into the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is as good as it gets. This goes back into new bottles. The bad and the ugly were once considered waste, but now they have their own journey to go on to a special recycling facility in Quinell, BC. Everything you see on the floor will end up in Quinell, and that could be a piece of foam rock in a year or a day. So what exactly is Enviro Rock? How do you go from glass dust to this? It's literally very similar to baking a cake. Instead of flour, you have glass powder. And instead of baking soda, we use a, I can't tell you which one, but we use a specific uh, foaming agent. And then instead of wax paper, we use uh, fiberglass mesh. We run it through this oven at 850 degrees Celsius. It puffs up from one inch to three and a half inches. And when it comes out of the oven, it hits the ambient air temperature. And because it's rapidly cooling, it shrinks and it fractures. And you end up with chunks like this. If you think of a, an aero bar, when you break it in half, it has all those little bubbles in. That's exactly what our rock looks like. EnviroCorp says they're the first in Canada to produce EnviroRock, although it's been used in other countries for decades. It's been in Europe for 30 years, but I would say 999 people have never heard of this out of a thousand. So what is it used for? Those bubbles in the EnviroRock are the key. The goal is to replace styrofoam, which is often used in certain construction projects. And they say they're getting buy-in already. So we've actually used it on a soccer field in the greater Vancouver region. Um, there, it's sitting over top of an old bog or a, a swamp-like material. We're using it um, underneath um, the road on Langley, on Fraser Highway in preparation for the SkyTrain. We've used it under concrete slabs for foundations because then it can act like radon mitigation and styrofoam all in one. The reason all of this works? Compared to other recyclables, glass is pretty easy to work with. We're not dealing with a juice box that has seven different layers and has to be separated. We're dealing with glass where once you put it in that oven at 2000 degrees Celsius, it remelts beautifully. And you know, whatever inorganic chemicals or paper or anything, it just burns off. But if that's the case, why do so few cities have proper glass recycling programs? Cheap to dump. So they're not gonna send it to us and pay us to you know, sort it, clean it, wash it, ship it, get it ready for you know, the next stage of recycling. But that might be changing. In June of 2025, the city of Abbotsford started their own curbside glass recycling program. Now, instead of being dumped in a landfill, virtually every shard of it will have a new life, which could be in a new Corona bottle or a new SkyTrain station. And so now we've basically closed the loop. We are as close as we possibly can right now to a zero waste company. Next time you're dropping a bottle off at the recycling depot or in the bin, know that every single fragment of glass, right down to the dust on the facility floor, can be reused. Nothing is waste. Darius Madavi, CBC News, Vancouver.